Yugoslav, capitalist, tan, tall, 188 pounds. Who doesn't want their green stuff? Yeah. Why do people <laughs> always say that? You know, you tell them someone just split and they say, we just saw them together. You tell them someone just died and they say, we just saw him alive. <laughs> oh, sure you do. It's like uh, being allergic to strawberries, right? You eat strawberries all your life and then one day bang and you get hives. Uh, do you watch movies on television? Occasionally I'll watch films. Do you? Yeah. yeah. Are you actually aware what version of the films you are seeing? No. Because that can make a big difference, you know. Well, we arrive to Frankfurt. <laughs> We arrive to Frankfurt, I am leaving the airplane, and there are eight German policemen with machine guns aiming at me. <laughs> because the, the pilot radioed mm -hmm. that oh, sure. they have a passenger. I got a lunatic, en yeah. Endangering, yeah. endangering the safety of the passengers during the flight, <laughs> which is the same as hijacking. Yeah. This is for you. Who's calling at this hour? This is Barbary. I don't know, I'm sorry. I was dreaming about my mother's sausages. I remember I fell in love with this girl in Prague. It was in 1968. Oh, she was beautiful. She looked like Carol Lombard. She grabbed me. It was in the alley behind my church. She pressed me against the wall. She kissed me. I felt like Richard Chamberlain in the Thornbirds, you know, in the barn with Maggie. I was so happy I could die. I don't believe this story myself, so... <laughs> so, but it's true. You know, I was 10 years old, my brother, who is uh, 12 years older than I am, he was a set designer in a small touring theater company and every time they were in the town I was living at the time at that moment uh, he took me backstage because if you don't your children will suffer they will not be allowed to go to school you have to swallow your pride to survive this kind of society and that was it you know for most girls a little lipstick is the only way to forget what's happening here even if it's just for a few hours. Just wanted to apologize about the other night. You were completely right to do what you did. Maria didn't fully inform me about the situation. She's very young. She still has romantic ideas about the war. Uncle said we weren't needed for a while. Is it today? Promise me. Well, because uh, I'm big admirer of Havel, but you know, through the years it becomes some sort of like, you just keep saying it and it's not connected to real knowledge. So I, I thought I should maybe refresh because I used to read all the plays and, you know, and the big speeches and everything. And uh, I'm collecting the nice things that people said from people connected to the, uh, Václav and Olga. My big help in the preparation was Anna Freimanova, who was the secretary of them. Hundreds, Pablo. You are up to something. What? You must compete in the competition. I'm making dinner. How swordfish? She's a jolly good fellow. She's a jolly good fellow. She's a jolly good fellow. What? What's wrong again? It was not easy at all. Um, by a chance, I was um, in Prague and I was walking on the street and 
I met a girlfriend of mine and she was like, oh, Ava, I'm going to this beauty contest. Please come with me. And um, I did not want to go. She my mom was not into it at all. She's like, you're not going anywhere. You're 16 years old. I'm not going to let you out, you know, in the, wild, in the wilderness. Hey! We haven't time to humor some bumpkin cop. Lose him. We've had a car accident. Oh, nothing too serious, I trust. We are lucky to be alive. Please. Please. Now, Chief, listen. Normally, investigation of crimes committed in French territorial waters is your responsibility. But as this kidnapping is politically so important to the government, the president has ordered me to personally take charge of the case. Now, understand, it's not that he thinks you are less qualified. Some newspapers wrote that I am not an actor. I'm a real psychiatrist. And uh, I learned psychiatry. I had friends in, who were medical students and taught me psychiatry. They taught me how to hypnotize people. <laughs> Albert Bassermann was a famous German, wonderful actor who everybody thought he has to be um, a villain because he's from abroad, but he was he was the Laurence Olivier in, in Germany. <laughs> and they wanted him to play little spivs because he was a foreigner. 